In this video, I'd like to continue talking about complementary and supplementary angles. So these are two angle types that show off very often when studying geometry, and it's important to remember their definitions. So complementary angles, remember these add to 90 degrees. It's two angles that add up to 90, or they add up to a right angle. So if we had a right angle, and we know for sure that this is in fact 90 degrees, then if this angle were somehow split into two different parts, maybe we can call this angle one and angle two, then assuming we know this is 90 degrees, we know that angle one plus angle two adds up to 90. These are gonna be complementary. And likewise, with a supplementary angle, so, or supplementary angles, these add to 180 degrees. So supplementary angles, these are the ones that are going to form a line when added together. So maybe we have this type of situation and maybe we can label this angle three and angle four. So if we know they form the angle of a line, if we know this bottom yellow line here that this is in fact a straight line, then we know that angle four plus angle three add up to 180 degrees. So these would be supplementary. So we wanna use these definitions to answer some of these example problems. So for these problems, we're not just concerned with the relationship between the angles, we actually wanna do some calculation and find some missing angles here. So looking at this first problem, we have this straight line AOC and it's split between two different angles. And it looks like they're gonna be supplementary. It looks like they're gonna add up to 180 because these two angles combine, notice make up the angle of a line. So we can determine since they are the angles of a line that they are supplementary to each other. So we can set up an equation and say that this angle here, AOB, plus this angle that's 156 degrees, this BOC, these are equal to 180 when you add them together. So angle X plus this 156 degrees is equal to 180. And from here, we just subtract 156 on each side. So that angle X is 24 degrees. And you can check this just by re-adding these together. Is it true that 24 and 156 add up to 180? And that is true. If you add four, you get to 160. Adding 20 brings you to 180. So we can put 24 degrees into our box. And let's look at another example where now we're gonna have complementary angles. Since notice, we have a right angle here. And this is the key point. If you have a right angle, that's split into two different parts, you know that these are complementary. So you need that right angle to know that fact. And since they're complementary, we know that if we add them together, they're gonna to be equal to 90 degrees. So this angle here, this PQR, plus this angle X or RQS, these will add up to 90. So we can set up that equation, 48 degrees plus angle X is equal to 90 degrees, and we can solve this. So let's just subtract 48 on each side of the equation. So taking away 40 brings us to 50, taking away eight more brings us to 42. And when you plug in that answer of 42 degrees, we know it's true since 48 plus 42, 40 plus 40 is 80, two plus eight is 10, so that does bring us to 90 degrees. 